Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West. And today is... What is it? It's Warlock Wednesday. Warlock your, Wednesday. Your little, like, face is my favorite part about Warlock Wednesday these days, because we've not been talking about good invocations. Uh, no. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's not going to change today. Sure isn't. Today's invocation is Thief of Five Fates. It sounds and really I, cool. Yes, it does. They all do. And I, I was looking at it and I, and I thought, oh my God, another one of these. Why did I choose this one? And then I remembered, oh yeah, we do these in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. Not my fault. Yeah. This oh. is This is an option I genuinely am interested in building around in the world that it doesn't have... Uh, it, it just like an at will. So what this says is you can cast Bane once using a Warlock spell slot, and you can't do so again until you finish a long rest, which means functionally you get to spend a first level or a Warlock pack slot, which has to be at whatever the upcast is. Bane does upcast to hit more things for what it's worth. So if you know you Bane as a fourth level spell, you hit three plus one plus one plus one. So six things with your Bane, hypothetically, and then everything those things May maybe get minus a d4 to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. I'm not high on Bane. I don't think it's the best spell ever. It's not uncastable, but it's not amazing. It's something I'm regularly wanting to cast. You don't want to learn it for a Warlock invocation, and you don't want to only be able to cast it once per long rest if that's supposed to be your entire character identity. I think yeah, there's something... When you, when, you, when you open to say something you want to build around if it's at will, and that's a far stretch from what this actually is. Well, then it's like, it's a cute way to place to put your concentration that, you know, you're just, your goal is to make people unlucky around you. You're playing more of a support thing. I think that'd be a really cool lane for this to be. That's not what it is, though. What no. it is is uncastable garbage. What it is is spending an invocation to do worse than learning Bane. And Bane isn't worth learning for most of the time anyway. Like, most Warlocks wouldn't optionally learn Bane if it was on their spell list. So, uh, for the same reason that we just talked about with Sign of Alone, for the same reason we've talked about Sculptor of Flesh, for the same reason that we talked about so many of these effects, Mire the Mind, Minions of Chaos, there's a laundry list of all of these hot trash invocations that teach you a spell slot, or a spell that you can use Warlock spell slots on once per long rest, there's no reason to ever take them ever. You have so many other spells that are competing for those two slots, those three slots. Every single level you're learning a new spell that is now competing with the Bane for those precious few short rest slots you get. If you get one short rest a day and get a four short, the four spell slots or for the whole of the adventure, you've got more than four spells that you can cast with them. You don't need to spend an invocation learning another one. Now, did I hear you correctly? You said this is the last of them? I believe so. <laughs> I'm just like, all right. I As lied. There is one oh, more. Oh, oh, never mind. oh no, no, anyway. no, 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 no. There's a fixed version of this in a later one. Trickster's Escape lets you do it without spending a spell slot to get what spell it gives. That's a meaningfully different one. All right. Um. So, you're, as a warlock, yeah. your powers are coming from your otherworldly patron, yes? Yes. All right. So this feels like, I mean, all of these feel like he's being a dick, like, you know. Yeah. Like he's doing you some big favor. You know, I liken it to, all right, you You go up to this girl, she's way out of your league, and you say, I will allow you to uh, take me to, uh, to take me to dinner. And then you go to McDonald's and you make her pay for it. <laughs> sure. That's... I don't entirely get the metaphor. But yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm having still a working bad it out time. in my head. Yeah, <laughs> just... is the girlfriend the patron in this instance? I don't know. Maybe she's. Maybe you're out of her league in your mind. Yeah, I sure. don't know. But whatever it is, it's like the the McDonald's is Bane, and making her pay for it is the it's once, once per long rest. rest. Yeah, and use of your own spell slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. It's it's really atrocious. It's. It's so bad. It's so bad. In fact, I did check before this video. Normally I don't because like the playtest stuff, I'm not, we're not like super, we're, we'll talk about it once it gets released. We can do like, oh, do guidance videos. It'll be even more content. That'll be amendments to the fifth, uh, fifth edition stuff. It'll be great. But like, I was, I looked at it because they just gave us, just gave us a couple of weeks ago, months ago, they gave us the updated Warlock, which is current Warlock, but like all of my complaints about why is this seventh level has been reduced to second now. So like the jump at will is no longer a ninth level. It comes at second level makes a lot of sense. Um, they removed this 
FIFA Five Fates isn't in the game anymore. Good. Oh. Yeah, it's not in the playtest. I hope they don't reprint it. No one's gonna miss this. This is the most useless garbage invocation that exists. Uh, good riddance. I hope we don't ever have to talk about it again. What about the other use a spell slot once per long rest invocations? Uh, I haven't. I didn't see Mire of the Mind. I didn't see any of them show up. I think every single one of them got cut. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess that's. I wish they would have replaced them. Just made them better. It does. It didn't seem like that hard. I think the really easy fix we even discussed, just being like a once per long rest cast, is fine. Yeah, it's not yeah, even yeah. good, but it's fine. But no, they're just gone now. Yeah, it's just gonna waste all these good names. Yeah, there are substantially less invocations in the playtest, but again, it is a playtest, so you know, mm. maybe that'll change. They did move a lot of the uh, Xanthos guys, everyone's in the pay- into the new player's handbook, though. So we'll touch on that whenever it actually gets released. So we're not randomly wildly speculating. Um, but I do think, once again, like it not getting any treatment whatsoever, I think is identifying this even like even in what with Bane being the spell probably isn't worth salvaging. They probably didn't don't need to invest the time or resources making this fun, despite it having a really baller name. I could see. I don't know. I, I feel like this, some people will want to take this because, like you said, it I, does upcast. It does upcast to multiple uh, targets, and that's something. There's also like I I love conceptually the halfling. I just love halflings. A but B like the one that makes a deal with an archfey. So you're like no one's can fit this build too, right? Where your whole deal is luck. Your whole identity is manipulating the fortune of others, and you just kind of like stumble your way through life with the guidance of a patron that's like using you and the luck they give you to manipulate the world around you. And then the, by fans goes in the character sheet as a really flavorful way to be like you're stealing others' luck around you and can making them worse at things. And conceptually, I love that character. Mechanically, it's trash. So like you know. I want that character to exist, but it can't at the moment. So that's a bummer. Yeah. Oh, well, um, yeah, we've discussed Bane. We've, we've discussed the the core issues of, of these kinds of invocations probably like seven or eight times now. Um, mm-hmm. Do you got anything else to say? Go watch our Bane video about why I don't like that spell that much either. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Did we, did we do a Bane video? I think so. Maybe. If not, we'll do a Bane video and then you can watch it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or check out my review on the Caverns Creatures website where you can find Bob's comedy series of novels uh, that are all about some getting new art recently. There's been big news about them of late. It's a very exciting time to be a member of Bob's uh, Patreon and all this other stuff, you know? That's that's true. Thanks for the plug. I, I, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> all right. Well, that was Thief of Five Fates. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.